So you're interested in Teamhood? Awesome! I'm Vitas and I will be your guide today. I want to show you an efficient but powerful tutorial how you can get up to speed in no time. Let's dive into it. The most important part is to understand the key building blocks in Teamhood. And what I call Eastwind Incorporated in here is a workspace. And you can have more than one of those. Workspaces are great for a couple of things. First thing is that they allow you to control who has access to the data inside the workspace and what level of access they have, reader, administrator or collaborator. Now inside each workspace, you will be placing data in boards. Each board is just a container and they can differ. I can have more than one inside each workspace and they can resemble very, very different things. In some cases, each board can be a different team, a different project or a different workflow. Now boards have items or tasks and each, in, inside each board you will be creating those tasks so everybody who is working on them has a single place to look at things and understand what they need to do. They can look at things in three different ways. In Kanban, which is the primary thing in Teamhood, in a list view if you're a fan of Excel sheets and in Gantt if you need to create long-term plans, draw dependencies and provide these uh, visualizations to your stakeholders. But let's get back to Kanban. Now Kanban is amazing. It's the most unique Kanban out of all tools in the market. You can, you can actually now limit and reduce the view flexibly to care only about the things that you work on. Teamwood is super flexible and adaptable to your, to your needs. As you see in here, I created another view, which is also Kanban, but it's reduced only to a couple of statuses. And, and you can create as many of those as you like. Managers will have their own views. Daily contributors will have their own simplified views. This keeps things easy and your team will love it. Now, if we dive into the structure elements of Kanban, what I'm showing you are rows. Rows are further containers and they work as task groups. You can place similarly typed items in, same, in the same row, or you can use rows for really specific policies, like as I have one called expedite, it means really important things should live in this row. I can also use rows for grouping by person. Let's say I'm interested who is working on what, and I can quickly review um, their tasks by changing the grouping mode of rows. Also, Teamwood consists of statuses. These statuses resemble the progress of work across your board. It gives you a fast understanding of visual state. Then, each status can be grouped and we can have status groups. Status groups are great if you want to visualize bigger process steps or you want to add limits to them. Now, what I'm showing you in here are sub-statuses. That's even more advanced functionality allowing you to have both higher level and lower level processes on the same board. Managers, higher level. Daily contributors, lower level process. So, and it helps you to control the detail. As you see, my board can be either compact and simple, or I can make it really advanced. And it will suit everybody's needs because of the possibilities and customizations. We also love visual cues and color coding anything, so you can have specific colors reserved for rows or statuses and that will serve as an additional documentation. So people don't need to read some uh, operating procedures, they can just open the board and they can get impressions what is what and how things work in here. Now the most important part is the work item. It's where you will place all the work related data. You will set who is assigned, when it needs to be done, what's the budget, what's the progress, what is the description. Then you will break it down into smaller pieces, which we call child items. And then you will be able to have other very powerful dependencies, like waiting on items. It means something needs to be finished first until we can start with this one. Or synchronized copies. Really advanced feature for scaling things across multiple workspace. It means that one item can live in multiple locations and it can feed back the data. Maybe you have a project portfolio and then you have functional team workspaces and you spread everything so it's convenient for both parties. You will also be able to set custom fields and comments and other stuff that is specific only to your process. 
and Teamhood allows that. Again, it's a very flexible tool. It also has all the native important pieces already present, like time tracking. If you're tracking how much time you spend and you're comparing what you estimated, you will get reports such as timesheet, which will show you even the cost, actual cost, if you're using hourly rates. Then you will have workload where you can identify how busy and loaded your people are. You can also group it by tags, which will resemble machinery if you're not interested in, in human resources. Then you will have project portfolio overviews, which shows you all the boards in single aggregated uh, list view, create dashboards for visualizing data. And those are called workspace reports because they take data from all of the boards. Some boards will be amazingly looking gun charts, like ju just like this one with milestones and need dependencies already set up. And you will have project data right where your project is. So Teamwood is truly the center of work management, knowledge management, and in general collaboration. It will boost your team's productivity and it will help you to make educated decisions with centralized knowledge inside a single system. Lastly, check it out. It looks great on the dark theme. So it's, it's the one for you 